Well, hi there again, it's Kim Willis, and I've got a little quickie video here for you today. And this one is about the topic of enhanced testimonials and mini awful case studies or case histories. This one is going to be mainly focused on enhanced testimonials. Basically, what we do is we take the raw testimonial that a customer gives us and then we enhance it. We add photos, headlines, and some of our own text. Okay, so this kind of has the effect of taking it to a higher level. Now, the other type of customer story that we can do is a case study, either a, either a mini case study or a full a case study that could go for two pages. Could be two pages of text and images and so on. But that takes more time. Okay, more powerful more potent, but requires more effort, more time talking to customers and doing the research, putting it together and so on. The enhanced testimonial doesn't take as much time. And here is an example of an enhanced testimonial. In the plumbing niche, it doesn't really matter what niche you're in, what industry you're in, it doesn't really matter because this stuff will work for any kind of business that is in the business of attracting customers, etc. You can see in yellow there the the testimonial that the customer gave. So what we've done is that we've well, it's it kind of a snippet, an extract from the testimonial. The rest of it was a bit mm, flowery and so on. And then what we've done is that we we and this is just an example, by the way. It's just just an example. You know, we've got many others, but this one for the plumbing niche. And so what we did is we added more text editorial type text, educational text, telling a story, definitely telling a story. So the headline, bad plumbers, cracked pipes and restored faith. Bad plumbers, cracked pipes and restored faith. Most testimonials are just that. They just have the testimonial on the website or you know, on sales pages, emails, whatever. They just have the, the raw testimonial. But I think it's way better if we can build a story around that basic testimonial and include the headline, photograph of the people, etc. So uh, just let me read a few of these key points. Burnt by a previous bad experience with the plumbing company, the Turnbulls were super cautious about engaging another lousy contractor. But something had to be done because crack pipes were causing water leaks which threatened the foundation of the house. Okay, so... We're bringing out the pain. This is this is the challenge that they had, and they because of the bad experience that they had with a previous plumber, they were nervous about finding someone that could do the job properly and, and would, you know, not leave a mess and just do the things that you expect of contracted service-based businesses. Arrive on time. Do what you say you're going to do. Even do a bit more than you say you're going to do and basically surprise people. So we lead with the pain. By chance, they stumbled across the Active Plumbing website, which educated them about how to find the best plumber and avoid the pitfalls. Notice that the website was educating potential customers about the pitfalls of dealing with you know, a bad plumber and how to find the best plumber. The site also highlighted the critical points of difference between them and most other plumbers. Social proof was provided in the form of several well-written mini case histories. Okay. Now, after reviewing this helpful information, Mrs. Turnbull had no hesitation in picking up the phone and booking a job. The job was completed and the Turnbulls are now raving fans for the active plumbing team. Says Mary Turnbull, not only did the guys do a great job of repairing our broken pipes, they were very courteous and friendly. They also arrived on time and cleaned up after they finished work. And then two days later, a lovely gift hamper was delivered. We were gobsmacked, right? So what, what we really should be doing here is not only meeting customers, customer expectations, but beating them wowing them and delighting them. When we do that, not only do is it highly likely that we'll have a customer for life, but also 
likely that the customer will tell their friends, right? That's what we want. We want raving fans. We don't just want satisfied customers. We want raving fans. So that just gives you, that gives you an idea of how we can, how we create an enhanced testimonial. It's always good to talk to the customer first to, to flesh out the story a bit more, get a bit more detail. Anyway, that's it. You need, need some help on this one or any of the other strategies, including the case histories, which is a, a bigger job. Just reach out and we'll definitely have a chat to you. All right, this is Kim Willis. Bye for now.